हॅलो आय एम प्रतिभा जाधव असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कम्प्युटर सायन्स टुडे वी सी द टॉपिक केरबरोज विच इज नीडेड अगेन फॉर द इन्फॉर्मेशन सिक्युरिटी अँड वेन वी आर युझिंग any related information for sharing in the network so this kerberos is needed now first we'll see what is mean by kerberos uh, this kerberos it is the authentication application which consider functions and develop to support the application level authentication and also it will support to the digital signatures now this kerberos has two types of keys for the authentication private key authentication service and public key authentication service where kerberos used majorly private key authentication and also it will consider for x.509 directory authentication service now we will see how this kerberos has generated uh, kerberos it is used by or developed by mit which provides centralized private key and third party applications where distributed networks are used this allows user to access services distributedly and without needing to trust to all workstation means only one server is needed for the authentication there are two versions of the kerberos 4 and 5 kerberos requirements first when the kerberos is published it has a several requirements that is most important security reliability transparency scalability this kerberos system basically used for the authentication scheme and two major components are used called as authentication server and ticket granting server authentication server means users initially has to register for the authentication server like whenever you are registering to any uh, browser whenever you are registering to any website for, that is mean by authentication so as provides authentication it has to give some ticket after completion of the registration so that is called as ticket user has to subsequently request the access to other services from TGS on basis of that ticket. This is the diagram of the Kerberos where actual process is explained. See this side that is the user who is logging to the workstation and request for the server source. So first in the first step he is requesting to the server that I need a, a granting ticket for the registration purpose. So that user is requesting ticket granting ticket to the authentication server. Then authentication server will check that availability of that user from the database. And if that user is exist, then the session key will be provided to the user. Then user is going to request to the server for the ticket ticket permission then again tgs will give the ticket to the user if he is authenticate one after getting ticket by the user user will provide request to the original server and original server verify whether ticket authentication of the user and uh, whatever permission he has asked that permission is correct or not that server is verifying all these personal information as well as the request he has given that information is verified by the server and that will be say, uh, sent to the user after getting verification user actually starts the communication now when he starts the communication first he has to uh, log in the system and particular password will be generating in the form of otp and after verification of the otp actual communication will start so this workstation sends the ticket and authentication by both the authentication server as well as the ticket granting server so if 
that user is permitted by these two servers means that person is authenticate one so this type of authentication is needed whenever there will be kerberos system now uh, what are the applications where the kerberos systems are used that is ssl and tls so whenever you are launching any website that website is authenticate one how you can check that uh, website is authenticate just that uh, in the url there will be one lock uh, symbol which gives you the authentication of that website and that will be secure now this is generated by ssl that is secure uh, certificate will be given by the particular organization and that ssl certificates are used with this kerberos so that kerberos systems have been generated for the authentication of both that is user as well as website thank you